Our top story, police say now at least six people were killed and at least nine others were injured after a pedestrian bridge collapsed near the campus of Florida International University in Sweetwater, Florida. Rescuers continue to comb through the rubble looking for victims. Here's a live shot of the scene right now. Investigators are looking into whether the accelerated construction method used to get the bridge in place quickly may have played a role. CBS's Hinadoba has the latest. Search crews working through the night at the pedestrian bridge that collapsed yesterday on a busy highway near Miami now say they believe they will not find any more survivors. This has turned into from a rescue to a recovery operation. Engineers have told us last night that it's got to be done very carefully, not only because of the fact that we have to preserve evidence, not only because of the fact that there may be possible victims under there, we have to treat it very delicately, but because for the safety of the rescuers as well. The partially built 950 ton bridge had been assembled by the side of the highway and moved into place just this past Saturday. At a cost of $14.2 million, it stretched almost 200 feet to connect Florida International University with the city of Sweetwater. Susie Bermudez says she was just about to cross under the bridge when it collapsed. The bridge was fine. I was sitting in front of it waiting for the light to change and I saw that it smashed a bunch of cars and there can't be anybody alive there. Police say eight cars were trapped underneath. CBS News has learned two of the firms that built the bridge have been accused of unsafe practices. There will be clearly be an investigation to find out exactly what happened and why this happened and we will hold uh, anybody accountable if anything, uh, if anybody's done anything wrong. Ironically, the bridge was built to make the area safer after a student was killed last year crossing that street. It was due to open to foot traffic next year. Hanadoba, CBS News. And the National Transportation Safety Board says it is launching an investigation and sending specialists to help families affected by the tragedy.